Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I am going to be testing recipes for fall. I'm planning out my content schedule for my blog. I'm also planning out my fall meal plan and there were a lot of things I wanted to include that I need like actual recipes for, not just this is kind of how I do it with a dash of this and a dash of that. Whenever it comes to recipes for blogs and meal plans, people want ingredient amounts. And so that is what I'm doing today. I'm going to be making four things. Now, whether or not I get to it all today, we'll see. If I don't, of course, I'll just spill this over into tomorrow because all four of these do need to get tested and photographed. The first thing I'm gonna make is a sausage and apple stuffed acorn squash. The next is a creamy pumpkin pasta sauce. I made this a lot last year. It actually already is on the blog. I just really need new photographs for it. I didn't, if I didn't take the time or just wasn't as good at photography. The, the photos aren't great, but the recipe is. So I'm gonna update that post by making it again and photographing it. Also a maple roasted chicken with sweet potatoes and apples. I've been making some variety of this for many years now and I want to put it on the blog. And finally, a corn chowder with chicken. Now I love summer actually. Tomorrow I'm taking off to go with my sister and her husband and kids and my kids and husband to do a river day. We did this last week. We are embracing all that is summer. But I do have to say that when I start cooking some of these foods, it actually makes me really excited for fall, but not too soon, not until October. September here is all summer. Usually about the first week of October is also summer here. And so we're embracing it. I'm just trying to prepare for content, but don't think I've switched over to fall because it is summer in my mind. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is get some broth going in my Instant Pot. I'm just adding a chicken shell is what Fed From The Farm calls it. It's basically just a bone with like some of the meat still on it. Some celery leaves, onion, water, and get that going in my Instant Pot for my corn chowder. The next thing I'm gonna do is start roasting my acorn squash. To do this, I'm going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Cut the squash in half and scoop out the seeds. Then just put it cut side up on a parchment lined baking sheet. Drizzle with olive oil, salt and pepper. And bake for about 40 minutes. Now while that's cooking, I'm going to get a pound of sausage going on the stove in a cast iron skillet over medium heat. I'm going to add in one diced onion, one diced stalk of celery, and two cloves of minced garlic, as well as about half a teaspoon of salt and several sprinkles of black pepper. After that it cooks for a few more minutes so the sausage is cooked through and the vegetables are sort of soft, I'm going to add in one diced apple and add about a quarter cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. When the squash is soft and cool enough to handle, I'm going to scoop out the fleshy part of it, add it to the skillet with the sausage and veggies, mix that all up. Then I'm just going to add the veggie mixture back to the hollowed out squash, top with a quarter cup more of freshly shredded Parmesan cheese, and then bake for an additional 15 minutes until that is all melted. And then I'm going to sprinkle on a tablespoon of freshly chopped sage. All right, for the creamy pumpkin pasta sauce, I'm going to get in a small sauce pot, a half a cup of heavy cream, a cup of pumpkin puree, a package of cream cheese, a cup of freshly grated Parmesan, a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, four cloves of minced garlic, heating up over medium heat. Just going to stir it a bit. Some fresh black pepper, 
Once it has warmed up and everything's sort of melted, I'm going to go in with an immersion blender to get it nice and creamy. Now I like to serve this over some pasta. The einkorn pasta is one of my favorites to do. You can either make that homemade or just get a box of it. Today I have a box of organic pasta. I'm gonna serve this over with some homemade meatballs. For the maple roasted chicken, sweet potatoes and apples, I'm going to heat a large cast iron skillet over medium to high heat and add a tablespoon of olive oil. Once that's nice and hot, I'm gonna brown the chicken thighs for a few minutes on the skin side to make it nice and crispy. Next I'm gonna combine a tablespoon of olive oil, a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and three tablespoons of maple syrup, and then toss in two peeled and cut sweet potatoes, and one diced apple and one onion cut in wedges. My goal is to just coat it nicely with the oil and maple syrup mixture. Next, I'm going to place the chicken thighs, crispy skin side up into the cast iron skillet, nestle all around it the maple oil veggies and sprinkle it with some fresh thyme and then just bake it in a 400 degree oven for about an hour. Now I used to make this recipe all the time and what I would do is just put everything in a 9 by 13 dish, sprinkle it with the maple syrup, salt, and olive oil and then just bake it. But I do like the addition of first browning the skin. It gives it more flavor. It makes the skin not mushy, but very crispy and delicious, which is worth the extra step, especially if you're really not getting any more dishes dirty because you're just gonna bake it in the cast iron skillet. The final thing I'm going to make today is my corn chowder. I love to serve this with cornbread or sourdough dinner rolls or einkorn biscuits. Such a comforting food for the fall. Personally, today, I'm gonna have to turn the AC down a few notches for my family to enjoy any of this because of course we're gonna eat it, but it is just not quite there. This will be so good in the middle of November when the wood stove is cranking and we're just freezing cold, I love a warm soup like this. Soup is probably the number one reason to be excited for fall, at least in my opinion. I mean, this year, obviously, we're having a new baby, so that's exciting. But on a general year-to-year -year basis, it's the soup. I'm going to preheat a cast iron Dutch oven over medium-high heat and add two tablespoons of butter. Once that butter is nice and hot, I'm going to brown three chicken breasts for a few minutes on each side. Then I will remove them let them rest a bit and cut them into one inch chunks. I'll return them to the pot and cook until no longer pink and then set aside. Now the browning process might seem like a wasted step, but again, it just adds so much flavor that I find worth it to do that instead of just cutting it straight into chunks and cooking it, but just to brown it and sear it on each side. Next, I'll add to the pot one diced onion, two diced socks of celery, two diced potatoes, and saute for about five minutes. I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of flour and cook for another minute. This will create a roux that'll thicken the soup later. I prefer to use einkorn flour in situations like this because it's an ancient grain, it's not fermented, and so I like to use that as opposed to an all-purpose, but any flour will do. Next, I'm going to add in four cups of my chicken stock, two cups of frozen corn, two cloves of minced garlic, and my cooked chicken, and some black pepper to taste. I'm just going to reduce the heat and simmer with the lid on for about 15 minutes or until the veggies are soft. Next, I'm going to add in a cup of heavy cream, a teaspoon of salt, Now, I will top this with shredded cheese. If you have some cooked and crumbled bacon, that would be delicious also, and likely serve it with some cornbread. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed these fall recipes. I cannot wait to be making this type of food. It is definitely a bright spot in those short days with the cold weather coming into a cozy meal with root vegetables, chicken broth that'll warm you from the inside out does definitely make it all worth it. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are brand new to my channel, 
please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Also, if you have not yet grabbed my four week meal plan, my summer edition is currently out. You can grab that by going to bit.ly forward slash farmhouse meal plan. Stay tuned because my fall version is coming out very, very soon. It is full of 28 different recipes that will be comforting for fall, shopping lists, and a whole plan so that you can have these kind of meals on the table without giving it much thought. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.